Okay, so I'm going to show you guys a feature today called Rubrics within Canvas. This is a really, really powerful tool um, to allow kids to see um, what you're asking of them, but also for you to use this as a grading tool. So after you've set up an assignment, a discussion board, a whatever in Canvas, and you've jumped through all the hoops and making sure the due date's there and all that stuff, at the very bottom here is a button called Rubric. Now, here's what Rubrics are. Rubrics are like a traditional rubric that you would see on paper, but it's dynamic, which is really cool. So let me show you a few features of rubrics. So let's say, for example, I'm in a course, or I teach a course, or I have a course I've created other rubrics in. So for example, in my other science course in Canvas, I've created nine rubrics. So any course that you are part of in Canvas, whether it's shared with you or you teach it specifically, you could come down and use the rubrics that you've already created. Okay, so That's a really powerful thing. So let me show you how this is set up. So you would title the rubric here, and then you're gonna set criteria here, okay? So you're gonna set the description for the criteria. So let me set up a new criteria. So let's call this criteria quality of slide, okay? We just did a project in science where our students were um, looking at the properties of plastics and seeing how they were, how those affected the functions and how they use in society. So anyways, long story short, I might want to grade them on the quality of their work on their slides. Okay, you can do a description there. And then you can add points here. So let's say I want to do points here. So I might say approaching. And then I would put a description of what I'm looking for here. I won't do that now, but obviously the more detailed you are on the description, the better it is for students. Okay, so I can add as many of these as I want. Um, I'll just say below mark, whatever it is, okay? So once you've set up your rubric and you can kind of play around with that, <clears throat> there's a couple different things here. This is a powerful piece. So it says find outcomes. So you have in your Canvas course, all of your outcomes or standards loaded into your course. Now, this is the standard that we used for this project, okay? So let's say, for example, I wanted to add that standard here. Um, because I wanted this, this whole project is assessing them on whether or not they can do this. This could be a really, really powerful thing for you guys. Okay, so you could set up points to that standard or, or what it means to meet that standard um, for this project or assignment here. Okay, and if you wanted your rubric just to be consistent of standards, wow, that could be really, really cool. Okay, so you can do one or other, or you can do both. Okay, so you can come down here. I will re I will write free form comments when assessing students. That basically just takes away all of this stuff here. Um, remove points from rubric. So this could be a, a good thing. So students aren't focused just on outcomes or focused on the quality. Um, I'm gonna skip this. I'll do this another video. Um, this is something that Canvas is has in the docket for the next year. Okay, and then this is the one that's really powerful for me. Okay, use this rubric as a sign for grading. Okay, so let me show you how that looks real quick. So I'm in the project that we just did, and you can see this is this is my rubric here. It's pretty expansive. If I click on speed grader, the students have already turned in their projects. So let's look at what it looks like to grade these guys. Okay, so let me just go over here. So here's the project that they turned in. Now, if I view rubric, it will allow me to bring the rubric over here and start grading. So quality of slide. So if I look through here and I say, oh, that's really good. That looks like a four. This looks like a three. And as I'm doing this, you can see here that it's adding these here. Okay, and it's a dynamic piece. What's cool about this is now it's adding all of the points. It's, it's adding the points up for you. So you don't have to do any math. Once you're done, you just push save and you're good. Another powerful tool is that when you're adding comments, you can send this comment to the students specifically or to the whole group. Okay, you can also attach files, videos, voice, etc. Okay, so again, this is a really powerful tool. Um, could use for projects, assignments, discussion boards, whatever. Uh, and it also makes it really quick for grading. Because if I get really good at knowing what my rubrics are, my expectations are, I'm just coming down here after I've looked over this, and I'm just doing this. Okay, so rubrics in Canvas, powerful, good stuff.